because uh, I will not stick to the paper. I will have some improvisations uh, like this one exactly now. Uh, I hope uh, you will manage to translate it and if I am not uh, slow, please make a sound or a sign or something and I will try to repeat it or um, speak slower. Uh, so, uh, my paper is uh, focused on the connection between, or between urbanism, architecture, uh, control or so to say the society of control and terrorism. Uh, some of you who have seen uh, the title of my paper saw the name Banks in it, uh, but I have to disappoint you, Banks will only be an illustration of my thesis. Uh, so behind me uh, on the screen I hope uh, you can see uh, a poster which I picked up uh, when I was last time in London uh, in March this year. Uh, as you can see, the, the, the poster says uh, thousands of people take photos every day. What if one of them seems odd? And in the background you can see many cameras. Uh, below this, uh, this question uh, there is a small text uh, which I can uh, repeat uh, because I, I think you can see it. Uh, so it says terrorists use surveillance to help plan attacks. Taking photos of and making notes about security measures like the location of CCTV cameras and so on. Uh, so what is wrong with this poster? Uh, the first thing which strikes us with this example is of course that uh, thousands of people take photos every day as the message uh, clearly says. So when you come to London you will see thousands of people with cameras and so on. So uh, the message of this uh, poster only can be that every one of us is a potential terrorist. Uh, the other problem uh, of this poster uh, was made clear by an art collective uh, and as you can see the, the message was, uh, of the poster was changed. Uh, this was only uh, a few weeks after the government released the official poster and as you can see now the message of the poster is uh, thousands of CCTV cameras track you and photograph you every day and yet for you, a subject of this free and pleasant land, to carry a camera is to be under suspicion of being a terrorist? Isn't there, is there nothing about this that seems odd? So I think this is the best, uh, the best message of the first poster. Slow down, okay, sorry. Uh, that something really is odd with our democratic, liberal, multicultural and so on countries. Uh, we, could, uh, we could see in two excellent British science fiction films depicting the near or perhaps distant future of the island we know as Great Britain. Uh, the first of the two movies is Children of Men, uh, made uh, by the Mexican uh, director Alfonso Cuaron in 2006. Uh, it tells a story about London in the year 2027. Uh, due to global destruction and ecological catastrophe, no human child has been born for 18 years and human civilization as we know it is perhaps facing extinction. In the second movie, uh, 28 weeks later, uh, by Juan Carlos Fresnandillo, 2007, uh, the whole of the British population uh, has been contaminated by a lethal virus introduced in the first part of the same movie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll slow down because of the translators. Uh, so what connects these two post-apocalyptic uh, films, apart from other characteristics, is architecture. In fact, thanks to efficient interventions by directors of both movies, uh, London has been simply polished in order to give us a glimpse of its near future, a future one can imagine. Uh, so we are not talking about uh, special effects uh, present in movies like uh, Brazil by Terry Gilliam or the most famous science fiction film Blade Runner by Ridley Scott, uh, but we are talking about uh, films which depict uh, the reality, but uh, we talk about the future. So you can see, uh, this is one part uh, from the movie uh, Children of Man. As you will see, London uh, looks uh, very similar to London today, uh, only uh, on the street there are a lot of billboards and so on, but they are not uh, super uh, supersonic cars and such uh, sophisticated technological stuff as in other movies. 
Uh, this scene is also uh, interesting because it was filmed uh, only one month after the terrorist attacks in London, after the bombings in July 2005. And uh, when people who didn't know about uh, this film, that the scene was, that this is a scene from the movie, as you will see now, uh, they believed it is another terrorist attack. So again, I think uh, Children of Men is depicting uh, a realistic situation and uh, it's not only a science fiction film. Uh, in, the ch in Children of Men, and here coming back uh, to, to the artist I mentioned already, this is Banksy. Uh, there is one beautiful scene which brings us uh, directly uh, to Banksy, uh, the hero of the movie, Theo. Uh, pays a visit to a wealthy friend who lives in a building very much uh, like the well-known uh, well Tate Modern, as you will see later. Uh, and what, all, what most of you who have, who have seen the movie uh, remember is a big statue of David, uh, standing right at the entrance to a large room, or better, and, or better to, or, that is to say, uh, to an entrance to a private gallery. And we can also see Guernica, the famous picture by Picasso, hanging on the dining room wall. As a matter of fact, in the midst of global decadence, uh, a special class of people, uh, like Theo's friend, uh, has been put in charge of preserving the most significant art pieces in history. And what most view viewers probably don't remember is at, that at the very moment that Theo is getting out of the car, they were able to see a piece of wall ripped out from somewhere and hung in the lobby of the same building, showing the famous creation by Banksy, uh, Kissing Bobbies. Uh, you will see it now. So he, here you can see the, the building which is very similar to Tate Modern and in the background uh, you can see Banks's work uh, entitled uh, Kissing Bobbies. Uh, apart from honoring Banks's work, uh, the di director's selection of art pieces uh, places in front of us some serious questions about the art market. And uh, most of all, it indicates that in some rather near future street art, like Banksy's art, will be paired to other arts. On the other hand, uh, the film uh, raises uh, another difficult and problematic question of the art market today. Uh, for example, here, for example, uh, here in Russia, uh, you have uh, Roman Abramovich and his girlfriend, uh, who have uh, a private art gallery in Moscow. And uh, this is very similar uh, to the film and uh, to Theo's friend uh, who also owns a private art gallery. And the question of course is uh, to, to which people uh, have the right to, to, to own, sorry, uh, which people have the right to own uh, Michelangelo's David or Guernica. Uh, so here behind me you can see uh, the artwork from the, uh, from the movie and uh, these are kissing bobbies. And uh, why I chose the Banksy uh, as an illustration of my thesis about the society of control uh, isn't only this, this work and of course his presence in Children of Men but also other artworks, for example uh, the next one. Uh, Banks's understanding of art as uh, a subversive and political tool is very visible in uh, this work uh, and a great number of uh, his pieces are direct ag directed against CCTV cameras uh, which keep overwhelming Great Britain more and more. Uh, one of the best examples of his attitude uh, towards CCTV cameras is for sure the graffiti uh, with the slogan what are you looking at near a camera in Hyde Park in London. Uh, you can see it behind me. 
Uh, and uh, why this is uh, important? Uh, it's important because according to one study, uh, there are more than uh, half a million uh, CCTV cameras in London now. This is more than uh, five, uh, 500,000. Whereas in the whole of Great Britain there are about uh, 4 million CCTV cameras, which means there is one camera for, for every 14 people. So a regular person, as a, a study uh, which is available also on, on the internet from 2006 shows, every person which goes uh, uh, to work or to school or to, to, to university and so on is filmed about uh, 300 times a day. So I think this is the best indication of uh, the privatization of public space and also the disappearance of public space. And as we have seen on the first uh, poster against terrorists, uh, is also very connected uh, to the anti-terrorist hysteria in London today. Uh, and that, that's not all. In 2003, uh, so-called talking CCTV cameras were installed. Uh, for video surveillance with loudspeakers through which security officers can admonish, admonish passers-by. Uh, the reason behind, behind it was uh, these talking cameras serve to prevent people ruining the city streets, uh, to prevent vandals from drawing graffiti, like for example, the ship, and to prevent access by from the field of the area. Uh, the ordinary British show uh, the ordinary British situation was confirmed uh, by a recent survey, Of 